What's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna check out a new automation workflow using the keyboard. This is coming soon in the new Live 12.2 update. This is currently in public beta, but will be available when the release comes out. So let's jump in and check it out. So right now I have an instance of Meld, uh, which in the 12.2 update now has this new chord mode. So just playing this chord here. And I have the updated 12.2 auto filter in here, which has a bunch of crazy new filters in it. We're using the comb filter right now. And so let's say we wanna write some automation for the frequency knob here. To do this now in this new workflow, we can right click and do show automation, right? So we're seeing the automation line. All that we need to do to add a new breakpoint is hit enter. So I can move this left and right with the keyboard arrows and up and down also. So I want you to notice that the automation breakpoint is blinking right now. This is letting you know that we can move the value around. So when we want to add a second breakpoint, I want to hit return again. That locks that breakpoint in place. Now I can go somewhere else, hit return again. That's gonna add a new breakpoint. And again, we can use the arrow keys up and down. It's blinking again, letting us know that it's in this editing mode. And now I can hit enter again to lock that breakpoint in place. Go to another area where I wanna draw some automation, hit enter, and this time I could even type a value. So let's type 5,000. It's really important to know whether the automation breakpoint is blinking or not, that's gonna allow you to jump back and forth between editing the breakpoint and navigating between the breakpoint. So when I hit return and it's blinking, we remember we're editing. When I hit return again, it's not blinking. Now we can actually jump and navigate between the automation breakpoints. And this quick key that you're gonna to wanna to hold down to do this is option on a Mac and alt on a PC. So if I hold option and left arrow, I'm now jumping between the breakpoints, which is really great. So we can go back to the beginning. Or I can navigate along. Now watch what happens if I am in this editing mode where I'm seeing the automation breakpoint blink. If I hold option on a Mac or alt on a PC, it actually overwrites the automation up to that point. So another useful part of this workflow is you can now navigate between different automated parameters by using the option on a Mac or Alt on a PC modifier to go up and down between different uh, parameters that you're automating. So let me give you an example. So let's say we were automating the resonance here. So again, I can just say show automation. So now I'll create a breakpoint by hitting enter and I wanna lock this in place by hitting enter again. Now I move with the right arrow key, hit enter, change the value up with the arrow key, hit enter again. So now if I wanna go back to viewing the filter frequency automation, I can just hold option on a Mac or alt on a PC and use the up arrow. So now option and the up and down arrows allow us to navigate between all of our automated parameters. So if I want to delete a breakpoint, I can navigate to it and then I can just hit the delete key. Also, if I wanted to go to this breakpoint here and I want to move the insert marker, which is this over here, I can't click on that because if I click on it with the mouse, the automation breakpoint is deleted. But now if I hold option on a Mac or alt on a PC, I can navigate the cursor there so we can jump playback from that position too, which is really nice. I hope you found this helpful. If you'd like to learn more about Ableton, you can check out some of my courses linked below. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.